Hello, this vid is on the English education system and also whether MMA should be taught in schools. Um, th let's deal with the education system first. We all want smaller class sizes and more schools. Uh, this should be a, a main focus of our economy. Um, also schools should be set out to be more in line with what the economy needs and I think people also, um, also they're, they're self-defense in other means than just the physical way um, should be taught. For instance people should know about economics, they should know about their legal uh, rights and ob obligations, both their natural rights and their uh, economic rights, their right to strike, their right to uh, a lawyer for instance, they should know the legal things that you need to know to uh, defend yourself and also they should, they should know if um, they should be educated in how to live their lives for instance how many people who leave school know how to go and all the all the uh, subjects that are related to buying a house or renting a house or property development um, these are things that should be taught at secondary school level so that people have uh, a framework of how they how the actual system that they live in works um, it's sort of like your sort of MO uh, you know educational MOT um, or, or you know learning to drive and things like that that should be done within schools and I'll tell you why because I think the educational system should be should start when you're um, seven years old and ends when you're um, 19 years old and through that sit that process you should have developed right through the, s the whole educational system from primary to secondary to university um, there should be um, a emphasis in primary education on um, on English maths uh, P and PE and but that's physical education, right? And then in um, secondary school, then you religious education sh should be changed to uh, cultural studies. So you would have a cultural study about the Middle East, the Europe, South America, North America, Central America, um, Russia, China, India, Japan, uh, the Australasia countries, and Southeast Asia. To cover those broadly speaking so that when at university though the subjects you uh, or college the subjects that you um, you you were really good at in um, secondary education you could carry on and also I believe that MMA which is mixed martial arts such as boxing jiu jitsu um, should be taught as part of the physical education at secondary school and there should be much more um, influence be between sports clubs and um, schools for PE. For instance I think that instead of the school running the PE, um, the physical education, um, that the uh, sports club should. So you should be introduced to a football club, an athletics club, a cricket club, a basketball club and those subjects that you really like after say two years of education so that you've got a broad range of sport, sporting subjects uh, you can then choose the subjects uh, which you which you like so you can develop um, your MMA skills or if you're into football your football skills or your rugby skills also I believe that uh, people at secondary school level should be able to choose their teachers um, because there should be competition between good teachers so that they can get and also performance standards that teachers should have to follow um, every week there should be a, um, a interview between a t the teacher and one of the students so that there's um, different problems can be uh, focused on I also believe there should be after school cramming clubs and the uh, for getting ready for exams like the Japanese have um, also teaching in maths and science should be 
increased. Um, religious, uh, sorry, cultural studies should be perhaps decreased slightly, um, and also uh, history should be should be taught as part of uh, economics, so that you can see the link between economics and history. Um, there should be more involvement of business in running um, IT courses, and IT courses should be changed to say the current. Uh, computing standards such as uh, Microsoft Office is at the moment. Uh, all these things should should occur, and there should be also routes so that after um, secondary school, there's both acad academic subjects and uh, vocational subjects taught at college, um, so that people when they when they leave um, college would be able to have uh, both say. A, um, if from my own experience, um, building skills, right, and economic sk and skills in economics and business, so that you can get people, for instance, if they wanted to, be run their own construction company, they would have the skills to do that, um, or if they want to be a surveyor, they they would have the skills to do that, um, and instead of people. Uh, choosing a certain uh, college, they would simply be moved through the educational system and then onto that college. They would then choose to go to a certain university, um, although there should be a relationship between the universities um, in uh, between universities and secondary schools and colleges, so that the people who excel can go straight to university earlier. For instance, they might be able to go to university when they're sixteen. Uh, a standard rather than 18 or 19. Um, also there should be work experience built into the secondary school experience when people are in there at the age of 15 and then into college when they're in their 16 to 19 uh, and then into university. So for instance BMW has a apprenticeship scheme and I really think the apprenticeship scheme should be brought back um, an apprenticeship was for five years, for instance, and those five years could be spread between secondary school, college, and university, at different, at higher and higher levels, so that people, if they wanted to go into car manufacturing, they would, or or, or science or chemistry, biology, or f physics, or um, in, for the pharmaceutical industry, uh, for the engineering I industry. That's something engineering should be taught at secondary school, or and college and university, um, so that people once they've gone through the whole system have a complete um, all skills uh, package uh, of things that they can bring to the workplace, and we've got to do something about this um, tide of. Uh, businesses that demand experience from people that is stopping people getting in to um, to to the workplace there has to be some way to get businesses say we could have more cooperative businesses which are part which are cooperative businesses are made up of um, teams of partners so that there is not work and management workers and management but there's people who have got shares in that business that is cooperative business and then you can get people into those uh, firms and then they can get gain experience so you've got part of the state and part of um, the uh, educational system and business working together and that is called in Scandinavia corporatism and I might do a video on that um, also, there should be more exchange exchange trips between um, different countries, especially in Europe, um, so that people get a cultural understanding. Okay, thank you.